Team awesome. How goes it out there today? Huh, so I've got a story for you and it highlights what I think is the importance of routine and making sure that we have something to anchor ourselves to at the moment, especially in the midst of everything that is going on. So yesterday, I, for whatever reason, didn't do the do that I normally do, meaning that I try very hard to get up. Um, I do some work while I've got my somewhat enormous cup of coffee. And then I do a couple of practices which are really grounding and centering for me. And that is a combination of a qigong practice and a yoga practice. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do either of those things. I'm just sort of demonstrating or saying what works for me. But having something which is centering and grounding and allows you to cultivate that sense of support in your nervous system and find that point of balance is crucial. So that didn't happen yesterday for a number of reasons. And then today I was again up at the same time. I was doing the work that I needed to do and I just felt myself getting anxious. Like in my body, I had that creeping feeling of anxiety and it, it wasn't really anything I was thinking about because I was doing my work and actually feeling pretty good about things. But it was just like systemically and with everything that was going on, my body hadn't reset in the way that it needed to. And so I'd kind of overfilled my cup and felt myself going to like an anxious place. Now, I'm pretty sure all of us have had some experiences with anxiety and know that that's kind of like a crappy place to be when you're in the midst of it. Um, and there's a lot of value to be taken from that in terms of like, if it's true for the moment, but I recognized that my anxiety, my feelings were disproportionate to what it was that I was in the midst of, right? There was no reason for me to feel anxious in that moment. Um, and so the seduction, the point of seduction that we kind of like fall into in our minds and this comes because of the fractious kind of light energy that anxiety produces is that you can get into a tailspin where you really don't know what to do with yourself and you just end up churning around in your own head and feeling like you're levitating in a way that's like not impressive or useful and that energy doesn't serve any constructive purpose. So for me, I had to force myself, which feels ridiculous because you think, God, this thing that you really enjoy doing, this thing that ultimately nourishes you and brings you back to this restored place, you'd think that that would be something that you would obviously, you know, optionally fall into. But the case for me was that being in that feeling of anxiety, being in that energetic vibration really took some stealth. And I felt really grateful that I had a practice to come back to that I could use to find my center again. I had to force myself onto the mat. I had to force myself to go through the initial parts of the process. But then the anchor that is within that is that my body has a remembrance of the peace and relaxation that I feel as a consequence of that. My mind hooks back into that place as well. And very smoothly, and quite easily, I can transition out of this place of kind of high intensity down into a more rested and peaceful position. I'm grateful that this is a routine I've established and one that I stick to. And I guess the what I want to say is that if you haven't yet created some kind of routine for yourself within your day, please do so, especially in times where we are surrounded by uncertainty and instability that gives you something to come back to that will provide an internal sense of security and stability. Now, whatever that looks like, however simplistic or complicated, that is entirely up to you. It's very individually dependent, but whatever it is and however you do it, please create something for yourself to give yourself that point of return. It's not about never falling off. It's not about never feeling the things that, you know, might represent discomfort to us. In fact, those things are necessary and valuable and wanted. But we do have to find ways to come back. We do have to find ways to, okay, okay, I'm safe in my body right now. It's safe to be in the position that I'm in. What is the next right step? All of these things 
are buffered with kindness to ourselves. But also all of these things are transferable processes. So the more adept you get at recognizing and being aware of your own emotional center right now, the more adept you're going to be able to do that same thing when you're out there with your horse and the more skilled you'll be at recognizing the processes and practices that bring you back. The last podcast that I released is all about creating this routine for yourself. So if this strikes a chord and feels like something you could get on board with, please go and have a listen to that. It is there for you and I'm happy to help at any point. So if you've got any questions, hit me up. But be kind, be gentle with yourself, find something within the scope of your day that will support the types of feeling places that you want to be moving from and that will allow you to bring yourself back to centre and then go forth and prosper. Take care, team.